All right, guys, how's it going? We're back with another reaction. This one is suggested by John, so shout out, John. Um, another food reaction. So we're going to just jump right into it. It's a Berliner's, Berliner's Guide to Berlin Donor Kebab. Don't know for sure what it is. To me, a kebab, when I think of a kebab, um, I think of like a like a meat stick, like a stick. You know, you got meat, vegetables, all that stuff. You throw it on the grill. Yum. This, I'll switch the screen so you see it. That does not look like a kebab. Kind of looks like a taco or a sandwich or something. I don't know. So we're going to jump right into it and see what this uh, Berlin donor kebab. And I probably butchered it. I'm, I'm sure I did not pronounce it right. So we're going to check this out. See what it's all about. Mm. Ooh. Sandwich. Is it right? Huh? <laughs> you know, Is it like a flatbread? You know, you'd think eating four of these in a day is too much but oh no this that is sucks. what it looks like when you bite into something that truly tastes like home let me explain <laughs> so normally my channel is all about recreating delicious foods from all over the world but this oh, week nice. i rebuilt my little youtube studio and i figured this is the perfect opportunity to introduce you guys to Döner kebab the food of my oh, hometown yeah. of berlin germany so originally hailing from turkey Döner kebab was brought to germany by hundreds of thousands of turkish migrants who came to help and rebuild the country after world war ii now the cool thing okay. is that berlin style Döner kebab evolved to become an entirely new food in its own right. You even have like Ooh, Berlin style meat looks kebab good. shops in the United States or Indonesia these days. But the food also truly became a symbol of Berlin and its people. So I grabbed my good friend Wei Xiang. We both grew up in this town and after eating probably thousands of dönas in our lifetime, we decided it's time to what create a world? real Berliner's guide to döner kebab. And our first stop is the classic and humble everyday döner food stand around the corner. Thank you, Okay. So I think this is as original as you can get with the döner kebab, no doubt. You have the classic super thinly sliced meat from the vertical grill. You have some iceberg lettuce, some tomato, some cucumber, and of course some onion. And what about those it's sauces? vertical grill though. Thing. Thanks for asking my friend. <laughs> so of course you always have a classic choice of three different sauces. There's a garlic sauce and there's a spicy sauce. And for the wusses, there is also an herb sauce. I'm getting really hungry. Let's just dig into this, please. <laughs> I'm gonna be hungry before the end of this. I mean, that looks Thanks good. Like seriously, people in Berlin grew up eating this. It's the cheapest thing you can get, and it's also much healthier than a burger. I mean, look at all this. Veg. This bread is really good. Look at the sesame and all. Mm -hmm. The bread is always very toasty, and every bite you I take like that. is like a perfect combination of I like the way that bread looks and salad. Actually, I think I'm gonna finish this. Yeah, it tastes so good. So, what is your valuable opinion of this one? The meat is perfect. The bread is crispy. And the salad is fresh. You don't want more than that. Out nice. of 10. 10 what? Think of a score. Don't say it out loud. Yeah. One, two, three. 7.5. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Some people believe firmly that this is the best part. The very end when, you know, the meat drips with sauce and all. It's really tasty. Mm -hmm. Check this out. We are going to take you to Bali Döner, which is our favorite Dürüm Döner in all of Berlin. All right, let's go. That's all right, let's check this out. Bali Dürüm, though. This thing is huge. Like, this would be a challenge for me when I was a kid to finish it all. I don't know if I can do it anymore, but I used to be able to do it, and after that, I felt it the whole day. Let's see if we still got it. You just got done cramming that big-ass sandwich down your face. You're going to have less of a chance. You should have hit this place first if it was a challenge. I don't know. <laughs> look at this. They actually have the world famous Duna robot. The what name is of that? the thing is what? literally the machine. It's just called the machine. <laughs> Did I get it? How do they get the meat on there, I wonder? This is some serious ass Duna. Look at this. This is this is ridiculous. <laughs> Like nice. Like and this is what we call the Bali Rakete or Bali Rocket. The rocket. Yeah. Ah. I don't know. I'm not. I don't know if I can finish this. So what's special about Dürüm Döner? Obviously, it's the shape. This one is rolled, and therefore some might argue a little bit more convenient to eat. The size is usually larger. There's more meat. It's more of everything. And a lot of Most places like a just taco. Bali, they like to add French fries. Burrito or something. To me, it was my favorite thing ever. Like I used to go here after school all the time, and I used to order a specialized version. I would always tell them, less meat, more fries. <laughs> 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 I just deep-throated myself with a kebab. Oh my god, Jesus. 
No. <laughs> what is this thing? Yeah, there's french fries in them. There's a reason why durum is usually 50 cents more expensive than a regular kebab. You want to try some? Mm -hmm. It's bigger than my face. Beetles are big. And that does look pretty good. Bali, huh? Bali donut. Personally, I, I prefer the, the crispiness of the bread. I would rate it a 7.5. I, I think I would like the crispiness of the bread so as for well. Me, like many of my best days. Have you guys had a Spanish torta? Or Mexican torta. I don't know for sure if it's from Spain or Mexico. I just had it at a Mexican restaurant called torta, and it's basically like a like a fajita, but they put it on bread that looked like the bread that they had earlier. Super crispy, super crunchy, and super delicious, actually. So um, that's what this kind of reminds me of. Not this one, but the sandwich one that they had was was more like a torta. This is obviously more like a burrito, but mm, that is and. That looks delicious. Either started or ended at Bali. So uh, this is already one of the best days of my life, thanks. <laughs> so at four euros and 50, this one comes in. On that's it? I don't know what that is in American, but it's close, I'm sure. I'm at 450, that's not bad. Let's get from one to 10 at one, two, three, 10. <laughs> I don't know, Bali is unusual for me. This is my dinner. This is this right here, this is where I go ten. to. 10 out of 10. You're already the first. Nice. Yeah, you gotta love the fries. Just gotta love the fries. If you're over there, guys, you gotta try it. 10 out of 10. Come on. It's good. So, next station is the Gemüse Kebab. What does Gemüse translate to? Veggie. Vegetables. Now, this is a very confusing one because a Gemüse Döner, vegetable Döner, is not actually vegetarian. In fact, it's a chicken Döner Kebab. Do you know the okay. origin story? Chicken. I do not, but please tell me more. Apparently, the story is that in the 90s, we had a lot of mad cow disease scandals in Europe. Oh, yeah, I do know that. Right? So, so people started really freaking out about eating beef, uh -huh. and the döner industry, of course, took a really big hit. So they had to come up with a solution, which was to make döner with chicken instead of beef. Poor chicken. And the most famous of the gemüse kebabs is called Mustafa's gemüse kebab. That's the one where all the tourists go. Let me show you what I mean. Nice. Oh wow, they got a line. Just so you know, this is what the line at Mustafa's Gemüse Kebab looks. People are standing in line, I'd say for like at least 20 minutes to half an hour here. Gotta be nice. like 60, 70 people here. No offense to Mustafa, he makes a very good Döner Kebab, but it's not worth standing in this kind of line. Let, <laughs> let two Berliners tell you this. There are much better options. For example, this one. Rüem is one of the best places you can go to have good Berlin Gemüse Kebab. Gemüse Kebab. Do I have your permission? Yeah. Wow. You have permission. You have permission. Good. Cheers, man. What is that, like blue cheese? Mm, yeah. Like flavor wise, texture wise, we're in totally different territory here. So in you some red onion. Cheese. Absolutely, man. Look, okay, tomato. first order of business, there's definitely some cheese in here. What kind of cheese? Some soft white cheese. Then okay. also look at the bread. Rather is that green pepper? Like triangular piece no, of the big round flat bread. You have a single, like a, an individual little bread. It really trying harder. The sauces are thicker. And then look at this. If you look closely, you will see there's like a reddish powder here. That is sumac. That's one of the spices they add. So your regular old tuna place won't add these fancy spices. But like they also like to season their meat after they cut it from the grill with a little bit of either soy sauce or maggi sauce. You know, this is like the beginning mm. of the gourmet movement in the tuna world. Seriously, let me dig in. Oh man, I almost forgot to mention the most important thing. There are like fried vegetables in here, look. It's like a little piece of fried potato here. There's also some like fried carrot, fried eggplant. Oh, it's so good. Okay, I gotta have one more bite. But me too. Like, yeah. That's a lot that of dude's gonna go day. in a food of coma on the left there. He's, he's mm -hmm. out of it. He's like... Yeah, <laughs> the inevitable question. Mm -hmm. How would you rate this? One, two, three, nine. <laughs> Controversial. Controversial. So you rate this lower than the Bali rocket? Yeah, because of the sentimental value. Mm -hmm. uh, sentiment ain't mm -hmm. nothing. You gotta get over your flavor. This, this, I think this is like the pinnacle of tuna making. It's incredible. We're now yeah. taking you to Imre, which is our personal favorite secret insider tip if you want to have tuna kebab in Berlin. This one is definitely special and it represents something that I treasure a lot. It represents the, the renaissance of Turkish cuisine beyond Döner in Berlin. Here we are, guys. 
Welcome to Imiden. Look at the script. So one of the uh, special they all put it on those wheels, they huh? Their own oven, they bake their own bread, they make their own meat. This place does everything from scratch, and this definitely deserves them a spot in, uh, in the top list of the best tuna places in all of Berlin. Check this out. <laughs> you know what uh, right. well, you see there? There's a lot of Turkish food here. This is not just a place where you buy a tuna kebab. This is a place where you enjoy Turkish cuisine. Okay, Turkish cuisine. But let us not forget the signature thing of this place. Turkish hospitality brought back to Berlin. Some for you? Of course. Nice and strong, guys. Nice and strong. Perfect yeah. herbs. This one, guys. The coffee. This is These guys for tea. are not fooling around. Yeah. This is all about simplicity and quality. These guys make everything themselves. Look how simple this is. A little bit of tomato and a little bit of iceberg lettuce. And this is yeah, it. Yeah, it looks the sauces good. are so important here. They have a yogurt sesame More sauce. Meat, though, and of course, don't forget the epic tea. Something as simple tea, as okay. this little cup of tea that comes free of charge, by the way, can elevate your whole dinner experience from just a quick fast food snack to something where you really just sit down with your friends, have a good talk, and just have a good time. It really just makes everything feel a lot more homey and cozy. Cheers to this. Can right. we rate this before we take a bite? Yeah, I know it's I think a, we can. Yeah. It's a 10 for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a 10. <laughs> One, two, three. They, just, they already know. Mm. Enough said. Mm. This meat is nice. out of this world. It tastes very different than any other dinner. Spice mix is incredible. Mm. Like a panini bread or something. <laughs> you know, you know you'd think eating four of these in a day is too much. But the the other thing is. When you grow up in Berlin, you grow up eating this so often. Like, we're immune to getting sick of this thing. I know tomorrow <laughs> I can eat one again. If you're from Berlin, this is like, this runs through your veins. Hey, did you want some? Okay. <laughs> Let's draw a conclusion. If you have friends coming to Berlin, which one would you recommend? Which dinner is the one that people should try? Uh, I would ask people if they enjoy a more, if they would like a more lighter experience or if they want the classic version, mm -hmm. or if they want to try something really special. Yes. And I think for each and every one of those, we had something for you today. I agree. And my personal favorite is Imran, but um, then again, I enjoyed all of them today. Some of them remind me of my childhood. Some of them are just something that I would, I could eat every day. Definitely go to nice. Imran if you want the cozy sit-down experience. Go to Riam if you want more intricate, more interesting flavors, a more interesting culinary experience. If you want to feel like a real Berliner, go ahead and go the classic route and take Döner Turm, the first one we tried today. And if you're just a glutton and you want to burst, then go and have a Bali rocket. Bigger than my face. If you enjoyed this video, Bali if you enjoy rocket. me sharing the mm. food cultures of the world and today of my hometown, then definitely make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell for all notifications. Yeah, guys, go check out thank his channel. So, show so his channel some love. Everybody supporting me on Patreon. You guys are go the Go check best. out his stuff. And thank you very much, Wei Sheng, for thank accompanying you, thank me you, thank you. on this, you, on this all right, incredible guys. and quite tough food day. <laughs> so, there you have it. Don't our awesome 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 that looks amazing so anyways again thank you john um as always guys the link to the original video will be in the description section down below and i don't have anything else to say other than i gotta go get some food because i'm hungry now so all right you guys take care